So I dropped that video this week about Ahsoka not saving Star Wars and how I don't think it's the key necessarily. I think a lot more has to be done. And make sure you check out that video because I really went in depth into what Ahsoka needs to do in order for it to... Well, not Ahsoka. What Disney Star Wars has to do to reclaim some of the fans. And it's not a very optimistic picture, but it is one that I honestly feel is truthful. Afterward, I was sent this. So this is an interesting metric and one that doesn't look so good. So from Samba TV says the latest new Star Wars series Ahsoka finally hit screens with 1.2 million U.S. households watching over its first six days. This is similar to viewership of Andor's premiere season and slightly lower than The Mandalorian's third season premiere over its first six days. So the number here is 1.2 million households watching it. Now, remember, this show was the first Disney Star Wars show, maybe even the first Disney Plus show, that was moved back to a regular evening time slot. It's coming out at 9 p.m. on Tuesday. 9 p.m., not, you know, midnight on the East Coast, or I'm sorry, 3 a.m. on the East Coast, midnight on the West Coast. This is 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. By that time, most people are going to be at home. Most people are going to be, you know, done with work. Plenty of time to watch this. You know, families should, in theory, be together. 1.2 million. Now, the reason why this number is concerning is because the Obi-Wan show, the Obi-Wan show that I felt was a very mixed bag. There was some good, there was some bad, but there was a lot of hype going into it. That show did 2.14 million, almost double what this show did. Now, why is that? Is it because Kenobi is a more recognizable Star Wars hero? Is it because of curiosity about people wanting to see what happened to Obi-Wan in between episodes 3 and 4 and how it relates to Luke Skywalker? What is it? What's the reason? Or is it <clears throat> is it that Disney Star Wars has truly gone to the point where people don't care? Mandalorian was their big sort of hope, no pun intended, and it wound up being less than stellar. I enjoyed most of it, but it wasn't anywhere near the levels of the previous two seasons. Boba Fett was a disaster critically, at least from the fans' perspective, because of how messy those first few episodes were. And I think a lot of folks checked out during that show. And then we have this show, which Ahsoka is a popular character. Ahsoka's one of the main characters in Star Wars Clone Wars, and... This show acts as a Rebel sequel, and Rebels has a lot of love among Star Wars fans, but it only did 1.2 million households. Is it a thing where Disney Plus's numbers are not where they used to be? I honestly don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Leave a comment down below and give me your theory. I don't think it's anything involving wokeness or any of that stuff because Ahsoka is the one... Ahsoka and Leia are two strong female leads that most fans accept as strong female leads. I think the problem with that whole argument, the whole political argument, came with Rey being a Mary Sue. But most Star Wars fans that I've talked to appreciate Ahsoka. Now, not everybody likes her because she's kind of been, maybe to use a wrestling term, overpushed by Dave Filoni. You know, maybe that's what it is. But the episode that she was in, Mandalorian season two live action or first live action appearance that episode was one of the better episodes people fondly remember that episode as being a good time so you would think that that episode like I mentioned a few videos a few videos ago actually it might have been a while ago I talked about how Mandalorian season two was supposed to be the the the, the, the takeoff point for other shows that's where they reintroduced Boba Fett and Ahsoka and it was supposed to lead into that Rebels of the New Republic or whatever, that show with Gina Carano that I don't even know if it's even happening anymore. She's definitely gone from it, but I don't even know if it's even happening anymore. But that was the purpose of season two. And yet 1.2 million, it's not a, a horrible number. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's like, you know, if it was under a million, I'd be worried. But it's still very low compared to like even Kenobi. And the trailers for this were good. What is the answer? Let me know in the comments below because I'm not 
I'm honestly not sure. I thought it was going fine. I really did. I'm being genuine here. Are people just so turned off by Star Wars now? Is it a situation where the sequel trilogy really did do irreparable damage? Where even good stuff is not even going to get a chance anymore? What is going on? Let me know. 